Starting a new business is a very exciting time for anyone who has chosen to go down the entrepreneurial route. And the photo booth industry offers an array of opportunities for your small business startup. Starting a small business isn't just about buying a product and putting it to market. There's a lot of things that I would ask you to consider in terms of your photo booth business. Before you even start, you need to make sure that you have done the research, you have looked at your current market, you have looked at a SWOT analysis, even if that's basic, looking at your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats in the local market where you are. Consider the target audience that you're looking to reach and the potential opportunity with that target audience. Only when you have done this research and you know exactly where you want to take your business do you start to look for your product. So, you've decided the market's big enough, you want to go into weddings, now you have to find the right product for you. Make sure you really research in the area of what other products are there. Don't be afraid to buy products that are similar to what other people have, but I would always advise that you try to buy something that is unique or that you can create a unique experience for your market. Next, it's down to the software that you choose within your booth. There are multiple softwares available in our industry. New and innovative ideas are coming all the time and the software companies are working really hard to meet the needs of the changing consumer audience that we are going after. When starting out in business, I really recommend that you look at two softwares for your business and get to understand them. The ins, the outs, everything they do and what they can offer your customers that is going to make you stand out. Invest in your brand. If there's one thing I see time and time again, new entries into the photo booth market, get the brand completely wrong. Don't use the word photo booth in your brand. Don't use a picture of the product in your brand. Don't use a camera. Don't use a flash. Don't try to tell people with the graphics who you are and what you do. A brand is a name. It can be anything. Coca-Cola doesn't mean anything. Google doesn't mean anything. Uber doesn't mean anything. But we know who they are and what they do because we have been educated via their marketing and their brand messages. Choose a brand that really stands out for you and says who you are and what you want to be and that's cool and on trend for the target audience. Now your brand name will become important when you look at setting up the likes of your Google My Business or for SEO on your website, but there's very creative ways that you can utilize this. For example, you can have a brand name that means absolutely nothing, make up a word, make it beautiful, and then use the words events or entertainment. Then have sub brands for your actual products this also means that your brand is always growable and that even though when you start your business you've bought one iPad booth or one mirror booth or one photo booth or one 360 booth, it doesn't matter what you add to your business moving forward, you can create anything with the name events or entertainment. Think long term and really invest in your brand. The next stage of your branding process is to really invest in how you're going to position that brand. So that's with your website, your social media sites, and making sure that everything is consistent. Once you have your business processes in place, your brand in place, then it's time to get marketing. I'm going to use this word again, invest in your marketing. Don't ever use the word costs when it comes to your business. Every penny you spend in the first year to two years within your business is an investment. You invest in the research, you invest in your product, you invest in your software, you invest in your brand, you invest in your marketing. And by doing this is the only way that you can position and grow your business, generate interest in your business and get bookings. Starting up a small business is not cheap. If you're sitting at the moment with a product and you have no initial funding for marketing or ready to invest in your business, it might be time to take a step back and look at how you can do it properly. Okay, you've invested the time into the research in your market. You've bought the right product for you. You've bought the right software and you know how to use it. You know who your target audience are. Your brand is right. And now it's time to start marketing your business. There's a whole lot of investment that goes into starting a new business, but there's also lots of free marketing tools out there once you get the basics right.